Asa Hernandez, an artist and songwriter, was born in 1944. As a child, she was exposed to the start of the Mexican Revolution. Hernandez grew up harassed by her local residents. Despite the danger, Hernandez and her family fully supported the movement and the revolutionists because Hernandez stated in an interview she wanted to grow to be an activist who gave back to the community. As Hernandez grew up, she turned to different forms of art to express her dissatisfaction with the way Latina women were treated with the help of Rupert Garcia. During the Mexican Revolution, Hernandez was inspired by Cesar Chavez, a Mexican-American who fought for better field worker rights because a majority of Mexican-Americans worked in the fields. With Dolores Herta, a civil rights activist, Cesar Chavez founded the National Farm Workers Association. This organization later merged with other organizations to form the United Farm Workers Chavez was inspired by the way of Martin Luther King Jr. and promoted his nonviolent perspective on the United Farm Workers. In California, Hernandez learned the water supply of the citizens was tainted by the pesticides from the Sun Mad Raisins Company, which led to many in Hernandez's community and work and the workers in the field to become ill. Hernandez's parents were workers in grape fields, which caused her to be more connected and concerned with this issue. Sunmat was created in San Francisco, the birthplace of Esther Hernandez, and where the Mexican-American Civil Rights Movement started. Sunmat criticized the unsafe practices of corporations such as Sunmade. It reveals that not everything we assume is healthy is safe for us. Some mat is a screen print of a skeleton with clothes that purposely resemble the sun-made woman on the box look on the box logo holding grapes. Although according to Hernandez, the print was made to be humorous, the painting is very political with the skeleton symbolizing death. Causing pe caused by pesticides. The print also uses a large font with the phrase unnaturally grown with and the words incesticides, mitsides, herbicides, and fungicides. In some at the skeleton screen print Esther Hernandez uses organic lines when drawing out the skeleton and the sun in the background. The colors in the screen print are warm primary colors as you've seen by the mass use of red and yellow, while use also using secondary colors, as you see by the colors green, white, and brown on the grapes basket in the background of the sun. Summat is a screen print that uses no physical 3D objects on the screen, and is purely drawn, making it only 2D. The, the focal point of the poster is the sun, is the sun mat skeleton woman due to the fact that she is in front of the sun, which shows her importance in this picture. Many pieces of Hernandez's art were political and all used Hispanic women and religious figures to portray political issues. Some arts are La Virgen de Guadalupe defiendo los derechos de los Chicanos and inspired some of her future screen prints like La Ofrenda from the National Chicano Screen Print Dollar and many other screen prints like Sun Mad. I shall interpret Sun Mad by his iconography and cultural studies of the artwork. During the time many minority groups fought for their rights, the Mexican Americans were viewed as invaders, lazy, and uneducated. However, during the time many Mexican Americans were field workers due to not be able to legally work in America with a green card, a green card that 
legally allows an immigrant to live in another country given by the government, forcing them to take any job that was available for themselves and their family. In the European culture, skeletons and skulls are a symbol that reminds people of death. According to Webster, in 1982, the Middle Age, in the Middle Ages, people started using skulls and crossbones on flags to represent death or incoming death. Years later, the same symbol of skulls and crossbones were used on tombstones as a memento to always remind others of death as it did in the past. In the Spanish culture, the skull is seen as survival and resistance. The start of the symbol begins with the Aztec, who had festivals that celebrate the goddess Metec Asiwato as the arrival and influence of Christianity, which sought out to annihilate the indigenous rituals. The tradition of the Aztec became slowly forgotten and changed. As the years passed by, Jose Guadalupe Posada started using skeletons in his artwork to symbolize the life of a person after death. The idea was later using in the Mayan festival, also known as Dia dos Muertos, in our present time. In the screen print, Sun Mad, while many see it as death, in the Hispanic culture, it was seen as a motivational symbol of survival and life. Based on Sun Mad, I have created my own picture. I have drew a phone who is dressed up as a president containing a, and molding the world. In this drawing, the phone represents our society and how we rely on our phones and other technology so much now that any non many social interactions are dying out to to instant messaging. The gloves represent Disney because Disney has a huge part in our society through the products they sell and the characters that they display in their movie and television shows to kids, whether it have a positive or a negative impact. Asa Hernandez, an artist and songwriter, was born in 1944. As a child, she was exposed to the start of the Mexican Revolution. Hernandez grew up harassed by her local residents. Despite the danger, Hernandez and her family fully supported the movement. And the revolutionists, because Hernandez stated in an interview, she wanted to grow to be an activist who gave back to the community. As Hernandez grew up, she turned to different forms of art to express her dissatisfaction with the way Latina women were treated with the help of Rupert Garcia.